What's up dudes and do that to the air now my name's Ethan we are back again with some more planet century So you remember that boss that we ended on a cliffhanger? Yeah, I couldn't defeat him I, I kept trying to kind of eke my way in and I experimented with different blocks because apparently different blocks have different amounts of damage reduction or uh, block defense or whatever it is uh, but either way I ended up coming back teleporting out uh, crafting ourselves this new set of armor after mining for another 20 to 30 minutes and uh, we're, we're hanging pretty happy on all of our resources right now got uh, runes and all of our stuff uh, we got this sword too, which, well, I guess that sword isn't any different, but I put the poison in it. Did I not have the poison in it? I, I forget. It's, it's been a little while since the last episode. Uh, crafted this little thing right here, and in general, I'm gonna actually stay, like, we're gonna try and stay on the surface today, because I think that, uh, at least according to the quest in order, we're supposed to have our pet, we're supposed to have transformation and stuff, so what we need to find today is we need to find Amethyst. So I'm gonna take a trip over to not the left, not the left. We're gonna take a trip to the right. We're gonna go and explore the desert. Man, we're strong now. Put a little bit of a garden up here too. Uh, but we're gonna try and go and explore the desert, which is just to our right, so that we can hopefully find ourselves an amethyst. I would just naturally assume an amethyst would be in the desert, just because it seems like that would be the appropriate place for it. But I don't know, because I think as far as all of the jewels and stuff like that are concerned, I think you get them just from killing enemies. You know? Uh, by the way, I've also been opening tons of random chests just underground and stuff like that. So we're we're hanging pretty happy as well on our food, uh, just getting our health up and stuff like that. And generally, I want to start focusing more on that stuff because I think that is the point. This desert, though, nice background. Um, what did we end up just getting? Oh, we could craft a small wisp which releases release it to get a light source. Oh. That's kind of cool. That's kind of neat. Oh, that was the thing I was going to do. I was going to look at our abilities because we got plenty of stuff. So we could get the air dash, which I don't know if that's... Oh, great, stupid worm. I don't know if that's something that we necessarily want. It could be quite useful. Is he gone forever? Is that it? <laughs> it could be quite useful just to be able to dash through the air, maybe. Okay, that guy just got wrecked. So yeah, see, this is what I mean, where we are clearly supposed to be hanging out here rather than going into that dungeon area. Like, that's probably one of the strongest areas on this planet, I would just naturally assume. Oh no, scorpions suck all the time, man. They're always the worst enemy in every game. So I'm noticing lots of resources over here, including tons of iron that I could have easily been getting here on the surface rather than going underground for. But I've experimented a little bit in the desert, like I've taken quick little peeks, mostly just because we needed the glass, because I crafted ourselves uh, a bunch more healing potions. However, they're not particularly good ones, so it doesn't really matter so much. Yeah, I don't know if the underground area of the desert is gonna have different resources, or if there's gonna be like maybe mummies instead of zombies would spawn here. Not sure, but... We gotta just keep experimenting and exploring now. Uh, I mean, at least we're getting bones. That's something new. Here's a chest, but I noticed that guy. I heard him. What a jerk. Oh, we got another ring. That's nice. Give us some more HP just for no reason. Whoops. Wrong button. <laughs> Still work to destroy it, though. Ooh, and then another... Oh. Oh, what is this area? Is this, is this actually unique wood? Oh boy, that's a weird little- oh wow. It's Monstra! These things are weird! What are they actually giving us? We got Mystic Wood. These guys are giving us no resources at all. <laughs> okay. Wow, they hurt us a lot though. Did you see our health coming down like crazy? We are not supposed to be here. Maybe it's in the ice area then, or it was in an underground area, but at, at least now we're getting some enchanted wood, which I know is a little bit different and required for different types of crafting recipes, right? But yeah, we're definitely gonna get out of here, folks, because, oh boy, oh boy. We might die. I mean, thank goodness we're fighting it on a hill, so it was really stupid and didn't know what was going on. Resistant leaves. Some surprisingly tough leaves. I'm guessing this is the equivalent to the jungle area in Terraria then? <laughs> okay, oh boy. Wow, he's hitting 60? Yup, 
Saw that coming! Jeez! Man, when you respawn, you should really be max health. I don't know what the obsession is in these types of games where you always end up spawning and then having to regenerate a little bit, but we definitely gotta get back over there and uh, grab our X points. So at least we're getting diamonds. Okay, so... So we're getting diamonds from, uh, and emeralds and stuff like that from these various slimes. So I'm guessing that that means we have to kill a certain slime in order to get an amethyst. I just honestly forget what color an amethyst is. <laughs> I, I thought it was purple. I could be dead wrong about that though. Wow, this guy's tough. Jeez. So at least we're getting onyx from those light slimes. I thought it was a purple one, but maybe I'm dead wrong about that. Maybe it's a blue one, which would make sense. No, because that would be a diamond. That would make sense for it to be in the... Uh-oh. I'm just going to drink our potions because we're starting to face some mega enemies here. Jeez. Like, get out of my face, man. I'm just trying to go and get my death pile. You would think that we would get amethyst from these guys then. Whoa. I really hope there's no boss that's a giant dumb worm. These are my least favorite enemies in this- in these Terraria type of games. Get! Stay still! There! Shrek! And he gives us an emerald, even though he's purple. <laughs> I could be dead wrong about the color though, folks. So if- if that's the case, it's my bad. It's been a long time since I- ooh, a green katana. That's something that I found about this game in all honesty after after messing around with it. We're out of potions That's why we're not healing as much uh, But one thing I found about this game that I don't know if that's actually the case It could be but if it is I don't particularly like that system is it seems like as we level up our armor and get stronger uh, the enemies are actually keeping up with our own personal strength which seems like a counterproductive system to me because then that means that we are going to constantly be caught up with by all of the enemies, right? As if those swings are not actually hitting. Where are our stupid diamonds? Where's our stupid portal diamonds, man? I don't know where they are. I can't see them because I'm in the middle of stupid combat. Where? There. Jeez. I guess I should have them on my hotbar all the time. How? Oh. <laughs> it's so deadly in these areas. Ooh, what is that? Ice resistance or ice damage. I don't know if that's particularly good. I would personally like it if we ended up finding some fire damage. That would be very nice for me. Let's use that. And without further ado, let's just head straight over to the ice area because it seems like the desert is going to give us a little bit of trouble. We don't seem to be getting, like, I'm not sure where we're supposed to end up getting the amethyst, though. Because it's the one, it's the one that we're missing. Get lost. Yeah, purple is the one that color that we're actually missing, too. So, it's definitely, uh, amethyst is definitely purple. Or maybe, maybe it isn't, and it's just, I don't know. But either way, for some reason, it seems to be the one color we can't actually get our hands on. Come here, you. Oh man, that was a lot of experience. Yes! I'm just trying to go outside, man, but there's just too many enemies. Come here, chicken! Yeah! Give me a feathers. So let's head over here. Let's forget about all of that stuff and see whether or not we can get anything cool in here. Another chest with a stamina gem. Thank goodness this game has such a large inventory system, like seriously. And I think all of these, as indicated by the way that they look, are all of the normal resources. Like this should be tin. Yeah. So they're all the same resources, but they're kind of frozen over so you can't use the different colors to determine whether or not like what ore is what. Seems like there's a lot of uh, copper and tin. I'm noticing a little bit of iron too. Seems like the ice area. Okay, this is just normal wood. The ice area seems to be very, very, uh, more poison. A uh, katana, that's a different one. Seems like there's so many, man, there's so much ore over here. Were we supposed to be coming over here instead? Some bamboo, which is nice, a lemon. Hey, it's me, the lemon. <laughs> that's a real weird joke. I, oh, beautiful music in this game, though. Is this Gambian unique slime? Is he going to give us, no, he's just giving us ice. I don't know if that's a good thing. These hills are gigantic, though. 
Please just give me the resource that I need. I don't know where to get it. Let's find out the hard way if this cave is any different. Yup, it is. Cause look at that, that's silver, isn't it? Oh yeah! New resources, here we come. And it seems particularly easy as well, so we're actually supposed to be in here. Ooh! Okay! I don't want- I don't want to actually, like, go into this cave today, though. Uh, maybe I'll do that off-camera? Just because we all know what caving is. And if there's anything particular, then, uh, like, anything unique, then, of course, we will end up experimenting with it. Or if- That's not cool, why is there- Why is there a desert creature in the ocean? Or in the- in the ice area, not the ocean, jeez. But seriously, why is he here? Or is that because we went underground? Yeah, probably. Wow! Come here, you! Come here, you crazy ice eagle! Oh, yeah! He just gave us some experience, though, that's not really useful. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't like this. I don't like this. There's a lot of these guys. Okay! So that fireball spell actually ain't too bad on the ranged enemies. Come on down, Buster. <gasps> A black god sword. Ooh, it's got pierce damage, cut damage, rock damage, and cut, as well as a bunch of other things on it. This could actually top ours. This one's garbage. Yeah, this could actually top ours. Let's actually try that out right here, right now. So how much damage do we do to them? We're doing nine damage. I can't even see it. I can't see. Oh, we're doing like 17. That could have also just been a crit though. Oh, we're gonna die. No. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to my health. <laughs> this game's got quite like, that's one thing I would say. Uh, just as it's kind of like early development and stuff like that. And listen to me. But the difficulty curve is not like... Yeah, this is definitely stronger than ours, sir. The difficulty curve is insane. Like, I, it's not exactly clear. Like, I don't know where we're supposed to get the amethyst. I guess I'll try and see. I don't think that there's any information online, unfortunately. However, I am going to go over here, grab our stuff, and then I guess I'm going to try and take a look online, see whether or not I can actually find where we're supposed to get the amethyst. I'm sure it's something very easy, very quick. Like, we're probably not even supposed to be having as difficult a time with it. Because definitely we're supposed to be like transforming into creatures and stuff like that, especially when we're supposed to be transforming into a slime, which, what was that, an ice spider? Jeez. But yeah, I'm going to explore a little bit, see if I can find some information online. I doubt it because, <laughs> yeah, I very much doubt there's going to be any information about this game, but hey, maybe there will be. What? Okay. Okay, he makes very scary loud noises. He's a very, oh my goodness. At least he was easy. Jeez. I guess I'll make a cut whether or not we end up dying here. Oh yeah, we're definitely dead. Yep, we're dead. Well, that sucks. I'm gonna go get our stuff. Well, after looking up in all the information that I could, that is to say there seemed to only be like one other Let's Player that was actually running into the same issue as me, uh, the search for the Amethyst, he theorized the same thing that I did where we have to kill the purple slimes. I didn't see whether or not in the video he ended up actually getting it from the purple slime, so maybe it's a bug, uh, or it's just a very rare chance and we haven't actually run into it. However, what we're gonna do instead, because I don't really feel like farming specific slimes right now, especially because I'm not exactly sure what the parameters are for the purple ones. Uh, instead, I ended up using what little silver we had to create the silver anvil. And I'm noticing as we scroll down here, like, look at this. We, we, are, we are totally just going to skip right over. We're going to go to the ice biome and we're going to try our best to get as much silver as we can in that underground beautiful world. Because look at this. We can get new armor. We can already get some new weapons and stuff. So we could just jump up to having the next pickaxe, the next sword. We could have the next tier of armor. 
the shield itself, I still am not exactly sure how those are supposed to work, but either way, very, very cool. I definitely want to go for this, and then maybe we can see whether or not we can actually go for uh, the boss itself. Looks like either of these is actually just decoration, so we can either choose the skull or the face mask, which I like the face mask, but the skull is really cool too, so we'll probably go for that one. Um, one thing too, I know this is a little bit late in the series to discuss, but I noticed that this number one right here, I noticed this a while ago, I just forgot to mention it. The number one on the helmet means that it's got one slot. And as you can see on the armor, it's actually going to have like two slots or something. So this sword right here has zero slots for socketing. So we can't actually put anything on it, right? I'm definitely gonna have to build our house up a little bit here. My goodness, but yeah, it seems like we've got all the resources except for Amethyst, and we've got all the resources in droves, which makes me wonder whether or not it's something that we're even supposed to get right now. Uh, there was, I wanna see this. So there's a jewelry table. I wanted to take a peek at this and see whether or not it was a requirement, like maybe it secretly has Amethyst in it? No, it seems like this is just the way that you make, this is what I thought, uh, this is how we make a flawed sapphire in, out of the chipped sapphire, meaning that we could end up having a better spell on it, and then the flawed sapphire into a better one, into a better one, into a better one, and oh my goodness, it goes all the way up to a magnificently beautiful diamond, and then of course I guess that would be like the ultimate magic you could have in the game, right? But yeah, so Amethyst is just the one that we can't seem to get and I don't know why and it's a little bit it's a little bit strange and annoying so I'm mostly the the thing that scares me about it is I'm hoping that it's not like some big game breaking bug that's going on right now it, again it could just be a very rare chance of getting uh, but mostly because this game's so like uh, still being developed I would hate to have to restart our file just so that we could end up getting ourselves some amethyst you know but for right now let's just go over into the ice biome, see if we can actually get our hands on some of the uh, better resources, because I want to try and get us as much silver as possible, and I mean, we're gonna die. I just, I'm just saying that right here. I didn't even go and get my dust pile. It's a good thing we came over here. I completely forgot about that. Also, I was taking a peek at some of the other moves that we could actually do. The double dash seems to be a very good one. However, I personally like dashing backwards a lot. And, well, like tapping to the left or tapping to the right uh, just to kind of keep our timing. And I would hate for our character to actually start dashing, like, while trying to do something like that. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay! Did we get anything from that guy? Basic sword and stuff like that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is that, is that silver up there? Nope. Is this more silver down here? I don't know. That shield would make uh, total sense though if it, uh, like if it's actually supposed to be uh, giving us some more extra defense. That would definitely make sense for a warrior type of character. Yeah, you know what? I wonder if all of the resources are up on the surface. Maybe they're underground here, but mostly I'm hoping that we're not going to run into any of those stupid giant worms. Is this silver right here or is that copper? Actually, that looks like it might be gold. Okay. Get out of town, stupid freak. Yeah, that's actually gold ore, which I'm guessing, aha, so if we got enough gold ore, we could probably end up getting ourselves the gold anvil, and then potentially if we ended up having the proper resources, we could just jump right past it. I don't think, like, you saw how much that uh, gigantic freak was actually wrecking me right there. Yeah, we're gonna end up dead, like, a lot. But I'm hoping that we can just kind of slowly progress ourselves and get further and further into the cave system so that we can hopefully end up getting ourselves a bit more silver because I would love to skip up to the next tier of armor and then seeing whether or not we can actually tank out uh, the big boss battle, but I don't think that we can because unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go and do one of the most tedious things that I can't, I can't stand doing in video games, and that is, I'm gonna have to go and collect some flowers, just so that we can make some stupid healing potions. Uh, at least we're finding a bunch of silver down here, yeah, that's good. 
Let's let's get as much of this stuff as we can, please. And I guess first and foremost, rather than going for the armor and stuff, because the survivability will be nice, definitely, uh, I think I'm gonna go for the pickaxe first, because the thing that I actually really like about this game is the picks in general. Not to mention that there's no durability, uh, but it seems like they just kind of have a set amount of speed that each of them has over the other one, as well as the amount of time uh, wax that it takes uh, to destroy a block. Is this more silver or is that iron? No, that's iron because the silver is actually underneath us. Yeah, so this one's super duper quick and very, very handy for digging. And I definitely want to get us a silver one if I can because that would just make this uh, a cakewalk, man. Like, that would just make it ten times easier. I should definitely be leaving torches behind me, but I have not been. I don't know why. So, yeah, we're going to probably spend the rest of today's episode just doing this caving, everybody. Uh, I know it's a little bit tedious, but we do have to gear up. And uh, maybe I'll experiment with some of the slime systems and stuff like that. And I'll, I'll try and kill as many of those purple slimes as I can just to kind of see whether or not that's accurate. Actually where we're supposed to get the amethyst however I did notice that that giant stupid gorilla that we ended up killing also ended up amethyst <laughs> amethyst it's hidden underground everybody we found it we found the amethyst oh <laughs> that's stupid that's not good Oh, man! Right at the end of the episode, too. That is perfect timing. So it looks like I'm gonna have to do some major digging. How many did we even get from that? Four. Oh, so it gives like one a pop as opposed to these resources and ore, which seem to definitely give us like two a pop. Oh. Is that because we're kind of on the surface here uh, next to the ice area? I can kind of hear the music says that we're in the ice biome. But the resources seem to be changing to different types. Yeah, it seems like we're going back into a normal caving system right over here, which we will enter just so we can take a quick little peek. And then I'm going to go back to the left and uh, see if I can get ourselves up to the next tier. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that the amethyst that everybody seems to be struggling with is just a stupid resource that we gotta find underground. <laughs> oh, that sucks. That sucks. There's some more gold. Ooh, that's why I wanted to see was an actual big, fat, beautiful cave system. So you know what? Yeah, let's let's go take a peek at this just real, real quick. I just want to take a peek at this system. This system. This cave system right here, everybody. Uh, and then we'll call it for today. Because I want to see, maybe we'll end up getting wrecked right off the hop. Are we going to get killed here? Whoa, okay. Scared me. Okay, yeah, it just looks like it's a normal cave system. Yeah, in fact, it looks like we may have dug ourselves deeper than uh, the ice biome. There's a purple slime. Come here, you idiot. Nope, they don't give you the stuff. That's overly confusing and cryptic. That's a little bit too confusing and cryptic. So yeah, it seems like there's a little bit more silver up there. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, do not forget to hadouken the like button for me, share favorite, and subscribe to Join Team Pixel. Sign on, stay epic. Scythepoo's gotta get busy. Well,